What's up? Come with me to the dermatologist. It's a tiny little needle, so because we're just going subcutaneous, so a couple millimeters in there. And then, so I just find areas with the leaves, mm -hmm. and I just kind of go like that. Not too bad. So yeah, I'm going to the dermatologist today. They're gonna take a look at my ball spots in my hair and talk about shots. If we're gonna, if we're gonna go with the shots. So I'm just spraying my hair. And so just to do like an update, um, it's kind of like this line right here. And it's a little bit hard to tell because my ingrown hair is like, or not my ingrown, <laughs> my new growth is coming up. So it's a little bit hard to tell, but there's a line right there. And then the second spot in the back here, you can see the new growth and then a little bit of growth in the spot as well. So they're gonna be taking a look at this spot right here and at this front spot here because the front spot is getting bigger and the spot in the back has been there for a very long time. So no improvement. I mean, you can tell like it's growing back a little bit, but on the outside, there's like a rim almost. So they're gonna take a look at that. I'm gonna bring you guys with me. Ready for the cold. Mm -hmm. We're gonna make our way to the dermatology office today. So I think I'm gonna start kind of like a documentary, or not a documentary, but just like a video series. I'm not sure how long it's gonna be for, but just sharing a little bit about my experience with lupus and kind of what that actually looks like in my shoes and I feel like this will just be kind of uh, like a great informational series because for me personally I do see there are a lot of other people out there that talk about their experience with lupus but I think the most important thing to remember is that lupus does affect every single person differently some people have certain side effects some people have you know little to no side effects um there's just a huge range there and i feel like it's it's gonna be educational for me to share my experience just in case there's someone else out there that's experiencing exactly what i'm experiencing so that they can be reminded that they're not alone and that this looks different for everyone and yeah so i kind of just want to uh create this small little series don't know how long it's gonna last for but this is just another video in that tomorrow I have an appointment to get an iron infusion done because my anemia is worsened and I have to get an infusion done so I have that appointment tomorrow and I'm gonna probably take a video of that too so that you guys can come with me and I can keep you updated and kind of show you what the process is like. I've never had to do anything like that before in my life. It's going to be the first time I'll be getting an iron infusion done. The only thing I've ever done relating to blood in my life is just like um, get my blood drawn. But other than that, yeah, I've never done like an iron infusion. So that's definitely going to be interesting. I am pretty nervous about it. see how it goes how's your day going <laughs> if you do uh, hear that question in the video you should leave a comment and let me know I would love to know how your day is going but yeah guys we're actually almost there in case this is the first time you're seeing me or my face or you don't know who I am my name is true I do have lupus I was diagnosed in January of 2020 so last year 
last year, January, but I started showing symptoms around the summer of 2022, around like June, July, 2022. Uh, very new to this lupus journey. My main symptoms are joint pain, which I get really, really bad in my hands, specifically my knuckles. I have a bit of hair loss. I do get headaches and migraines, and anemia is another huge symptom of mine. I do take hydroxychloroquine every single day. I was on prednisone for most of last year, of most of 2023, but I'm now off it, and I just take it in case I have to. But I am on hydroxychloroquine every day, and then I take Tylenol if the pain gets really bad. My anemia, <coughs> sorry, I mentioned before my anemia is getting worse. I have very low iron, so I have to get an iron infusion done tomorrow, and stay tuned for that video. I'll most likely put a video out if I don't, if I don't, but I most, I'll try my best to make a video just like this one um, of my experience getting an iron infusion done so that you guys can come with me and we can go through that experience together. So yeah guys, I'm almost there, and when I get there, I'll uh, bring you guys with me to the appointment. We'll do this thing together. Alright, see Okay, so basically um, the nurse person came in before the doctor came in to ask questions. She wanted me to show her my hair, so I showed her the spots and then I also showed her a picture of what it looked like and what it looks like now. And now we're going to just wait for the doctor to come in. So. They're, they're tiny. Uh, it's okay. a tiny little needle, so because we're just going subcutaneous, so a couple millimeters in there. Okay. It's still a you know a little sharp thing, and you know mm -hmm. you feel a little of it. Actually, generally you feel um, the stretch from the medicine probably more than the needle. Okay. Now <laughs> and then so I just find the areas with the leaves, mm -hmm. and I just kind of go like that. Not too bad. It's not okay. that bad. Good, good. All right, so. Yeah, so check out the breakdown hole right before okay. the fish tank on your left. Okay, guys. I'm like so scared about that. I don't like needles. Oof, gives me the shivers. All right, guys, so to give you an update, the dermatologist here basically confirmed that it is alopecia. He said alopecia something else. Don't remember the specific term, but I'll look it up when I get home. And to give you a little bit of a backstory with my history with Dermatologist, I went to one dermatologist, uh, I would say a few months ago, or more than a few months ago, when my hair loss first started happening. And he basically suggested that 
it was my hairstyle that was causing the hair loss and i was like okay well that really doesn't make sense because i've had tight hairstyles all my life and having locks is actually not that tight like it's actually less tight than hairstyles that i've had in the past so uh, that didn't make sense or add up to me so i went to the second dermatologist for a second opinion this guy he was really nice he looked at my spots immediately and said that it's alopecia or some other kind of alopecia so he decided to do the injections which he did as you saw in the video honestly i was a lot more scared than i needed to be the injection the injections did pinch and i was really scared beforehand but then afterwards like i realized it really wasn't that bad it really wasn't that bad like as you know as black people when we get box braids and like tight hairstyles honestly that pain was worse than those little injections in my head so it was scary <laughs> it really was but because I, I don't like needles but it really wasn't that bad pain wise um so yeah, he basically said I'm going to go back in a month and he's going to track the hair growth to see if there's any progress in those areas and go from there. But that's it guys, that was my appointment. I'm actually feeling really happy right now because I was kind of feeling a type of way after seeing the last dermatologist because he basically, you know, he kind of made it seem like it wasn't anything you know deep that was causing that uh hair loss he really was trying to say it was my hairstyle and that just didn't make sense to me and it feels good to know that this dermatologist has you know taken the time to actually check and realize that it's alopecia or it's something it's something going on and he took the necessary steps to make sure that I got the care that I need. So we'll see what happens from here. I'm really looking forward to seeing the progress. I'm really hoping there's progress. Yeah. I'll keep you guys updated when I go back in a month. I'd be happy to take you guys with me again and do a little video just so that you can track the progress with me. And we're in this together, guys. We're in this together. <laughs> All right, I'll see you in the next video. I'll probably do one tomorrow for the iron infusion. So I'll see you in, in the next video. Bye.